and welcome to Action News 4. In local news, a boy jumped out of a second story school window. When questioned about his motives, he simply said, It was fun. Moving on to national news, our foreign correspondent, John Hammett, is in Spain near an inactive volcano. Take it away, John. Thanks, Cindy. I'm here in Inferno Village, Spain, and behind me you can see the composite volcano Mount Caswell. Now, Mount Caswell is a dormant volcano, and we shouldn't be expecting any eruptions from it anytime soon. Now, here to help me is my friend and volcanologist, Dr. Kevin! Thanks, John. Now, I heard you say composite volcano. Frankly, that's a bit of a layman's term. We volcanologists refer to this type as a stratovolcano. Volcanologists use the term to distinguish among volcanoes because all volcanoes of any size have a composite or layered structure that is built up from subsequent outpourings of eruptive material. Most shadow volcanoes exceed 2,500 feet in height and can be found along the submergent fault lines of the Earth's tectonic plates. Observe the moderate slope of the fact that it is so much larger than the average city cone. Now if you look behind me, you can see the Interesting. Now, if you. Oh my god, the mountain's on fire! Oh my god, oh my god, run away! Oh my god, oh my god. Well, here we are, safe and sound in our armored tank. I mean, news van. Uh, anyway, we've been informed that we have to go back outside to investigate the results of the lava flow. Now, unfortunately, it's not exactly safe out there, so my friend Kevin has some brand name safety gear for us. Yes, in fact I do. Now, where did I put those buckets? Here they are. Come on, let's go collect some samples. Uh, now, what is this stuff again? That is actually a pyroclastic flow, largely composed of silica, water, and gases. Ah, what's all this brown crap? That crap, as you so bluntly put it, is actually tephra, which is the dust and rocks emitted from the crater of the volcano. Now be careful, these dust particles may be small, but tephra can range up to the size of a small car. I want fire on the roof! Ah! Holy crap, is he gonna be okay? Well, side effects of being hit by a car-sized piece of tephra can include both splintering and organs atrophying in less than 0.8 seconds! Well, here we are at the summit of Mount Caswell. Hey, who are those guys over there? Those are the crops. As you can see, they're wearing high-tech volcano gear, although not quite as economical as ours. They've beaten me to every volcano I've been to for the last five years, seven months, three weeks, and two days. But I think they think of me as their honorary assistant. Hey, my regards, says que idiots que les pensen son des volcanologies. Well, that's about all the time we have for the top of the mountain. We're going to move on down to the base and wrap this broadcast up. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. So, until next time... Uh, hey, who are you? I'm with the military. There's a mandatory evacuation in process. I'm not going anywhere. I have a broadcast to do. If you can't cooperate, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Oh my god, you hurt Kevin! Remember, tune in next time to Action News...
Hippo, hippo dance. I wanna see you dance. The hippo, hippo dance. I wanna. 